Step, step, step. Oh, hey there. You should probably hit that. Oh, and you definitely ring-a-ding that. Before this video begins, if you'd like, I have a Discord. It's a link down in the description. Click it, and it'll take you to the Discord. Join it, and you can be a part of the community. Also, if you want to check out the other channels while you're down there, it'd be much appreciated. Enjoy the episode! Yes, yes, uh, the floor model of Circus Baby is done. And I have to say, she may be one of my new favorite models. Yes, yes, everything should be ready to ship her out soon. I have her ready at my restaurant, and nothing is gonna happen. Trust me, it's gonna be all ready for you to pick up. Oh yes, I think it's going to be a big hit with the kids. Don't worry about it. I've been trying to make this model for a long time, and with your guys' well, technology and support, it's finally done. So, expect it soon. Oh, and yeah, I did work out the little ice cream detail. Uh, it's a bit, well, how should I put this? Uh, just don't have the kids near her when uh, she's making the ice cream. Don't want their hands getting stuck in that contraption. It could, could, you know, get them scratched or hurt. But don't worry, it's completely safe. No, no, no. I don't think anything's gonna go wrong. Just keep your heads up and wait for me. I'll see you soon. <sighs> Wow, Afton, really put the moves on to get this one created. I wonder whose legs and arms you had to pull off to get the material list for her. Different endoskeleton, so must not be made from scrap parts. Little Birdie must have learned his lesson. Hmm. Well, I guess it would be impolite for me not to go say hi to my new friend. <laughs> They do seem a bit lifeless. Hello there. My name's Molten Freddy. And I would like to introduce myself to you before you're shipped off somewhere else. Hello. You have reached the default programming of Afton Robotics. Please leave a message and we'll get back to you. Beep. Did you just make your own beeping sound? Wait. You're an answering machine. Why don't you have a voice inside of you? Let me just take a look. Something's missing from you. Oh my god, you're missing your hardware chip. No wonder you're not functioning. Well, this just won't do. I bet Afton doesn't even know it's missing. Would you like me to call Mr. Mr. Afton? Honestly, yes, because it's really creepy how that voice is coming out of, well, what I assume is supposed to be a woman. I am Circus Baby. You are disgusting, so please, yes, if you could, call Mr. Afton. Calling Mr. Afton. Oh, Jesus, it's, it's like 7 a.m., Hello? Hello, hello? Oh, don't worry, I was just sitting here kicking the shit and realized that your animatronic's broken. Broke, broke it. Wait, Molten, is that you? Molten, it's 7 a.m. No, no, Claire, you can, you can go back to sleep. It's nothing important. It, it's just, it's Paul from the restaurant. Uh, he said a, a, a rat broke in. Oh, I see Ken talk in front of the wife. Well, now we know who wears the pants. Yeah, metaphorically or literally, because I will come down there and remove your insides. I thought we were past petty threats. Petty, no. Threats, indeed. What do, you, what do you mean she's broken? I just said her on stage. Well, not to alarm you, I know you have a lot to do, and I know you've been planning the release of this animatronic for at least a few months, but, um, they're broken. Oh, God. What, did Freddy touch it? No, actually, Freddy's not here. I mean, no one's here. I mean, Paul isn't even here, and it's the middle of the night. Well, more like it's about to be morning. He's probably just left. The night shift's almost over. 
Oh, God. Do we have to do this now? I mean, listen, while I love our little talks about how you want to be a part of my family and all of this, like, I, I, I've been really, really busy, Molten. Could, can't you just handle this? I mean, I don't know what's wrong with it. Well, I do, but you're not listening. Just, okay, just hear me out for five minutes. I've been humoring you this entire time. Why did you put a cell phone in Circus Baby? Oh, uh, because it's a rental. And I figured that it should have as many features as possible, even going as far as putting a phone inside of it. That technology is revolutionary. And you use it to put it inside of an animatronic. You can literally hook up to a satellite. What, what do you think? I'm not going to think too hard about that last part, but, um... The hardware chip that uh, programs the personality in your animatronics is certainly missing from this one. That's because it's on me. You don't think I would let it just stay in there and let you or anyone else touch my programming. Last time I let someone do that, I don't know, four people ended up in a grave? That was not your programming's fault. That is just because I did what needed to be done. I could tell your voice got closer. Are you screaming inside of Circus Baby's mouth? Well, when you put it that way, you make it seem a little creepy. I mean, everything about this is a little creepy, Molten. Listen, uh, I'm, a, I'm a level with you. I don't trust you, and I don't trust Freddy. Maybe it's just Freddy enough to keep Circus Baby online until she's picked up. I may not know this, or you may not know this. God, it's so early. But, <laughs> this is a big deal. This means that the animatronics will be rented out to parties, and they'll become more of a home brand name. No longer will it just have to be stationed to restaurants, so I need this to go important because we're going to be branding with a company who already has a leg in this door. So... Mind me from asking that I already have things set up for this, so it can't go bad. And if anything does go bad, I'm blaming you. Well, okay, this is not why I called. I was just worried for your creation. I just thought you were alone and wanted someone to talk to. You know what? I'm hanging up. I don't think that's how it works. You, you have to say, like, circus baby, hang up. Circus baby hanging up. Oh, God damn it, Afton. Should I call Mr. Afton back? No, no, you shouldn't call Mr. Afton back. You know, it's sort of funny. No one's around. They're always hiding behind my back, and now there's you. Apparently, I was supposed to be shipped off with you, and I'm trying to figure out what makes you so, well, special. I could run you through my, my diagnostic program if it makes you feel more comfortable. It would make me feel a lot more comfortable if you had a different voice. Cannot do. I only had the modules for this voice. It is the default voice for all animatronics. Wait, is that true? Well, yes. That was a very hesitant yes for someone who isn't sentient. But, it actually seems Afton did a really good job. Wiring's nice, your... Yeah, wow, your plating's nice too, and... It looks like you're meant to open up. Faceplate and all. And an ice cream machine? If you'd like, my blueprints are in the back. Oh, of course, maybe I can find everyone else there hiding away from me. Hello? Hello? Oh, you damned idiots. Yes, yes, an opening faceplate, a functioning cooling system for ice cream, which dispenses by a scoop. Well, that could be dangerous. Oh, no, he has countermeasures for that. Huh. Makes you think why Afton's actually making these dumb animatronics in the first place. Oh, I guess I could have a little talk with him. Besides, I'd love to have another conversation with Nathan. 
I wonder if Nathan actually knows just how far Afton goes with these new animatronics. Be very interesting to find out. But I guess I am on Afton's side with this. No, you're not. Come on. All he does is treat you like a pawn in a game you're not playing. Sure, he fixed you. But the others, they treat you like shit. And besides that, all you do is just a backup for Paul when he doesn't show up. Maybe it's time I take a little action. Have a little fun. Maybe. <laughs> After you really should have stayed home. Because by the end of this, maybe, you don't have a circus baby to ship out. I need to find a toolkit. Where would he keep a toolkit? Well, probably in his workstation or the garage. Garage it is.